Hello everyone, welcome back to the Doing It Ace channel. Today you will learn a little bit about behaviors and I am going to show you a common task that you would want to do uh, on a EA application. So what I am going to do is I am going to do a function for every request. What I mean by that is for every request that I, been, that I will send to a controller, I will do a function before that. It doesn't matter which controller, it is going to happen on each and every each and every request that you are going to send to the server. To do that, uh, first we need to change our configuration file and add a little bit of code. So after my components uh, array, I'm going to create another array and I'm going to say as before request. Okay, so before every request, I'm going to do this. I'm going to call upon this particular class. So class is going to be in the components, so backend components folder and I'm going to name the component as let's say check if logged in. Okay, if the particular user is not logged in then I want to redirect him back to the user login. That's, so for that we need to check that on every request. So I'm going to create a component called check if logged in and I will use behaviors in order to do this. Okay, so let's create our check if logged in class. So in our components, uh, I'm going to create check if logged in class, uh, logged in that page. Group. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to create that component okay so my namespace is going to be um, backend components and I'm going to create the class checked if logged in so the class is going to be checked check if logged in it's going to extend from the behaviors class so we web behavior and I'm going to create my class okay let's drop this down okay and tab it so with this use of this when we extend from the behaviors class we we will get some additional functionality if you go to the documentation and check behaviors allow you to um, it, it will enhance the functionality of an existing component and it will give uh, in this handling component events if a behavior needs to respond to the events triggered by the component it is attached to it should override the behavior events method so what I'm going to do is the same thing I'm going to copy this and paste so before every event so in here in this example it's going to check event before validate but I want is event before request so I'm going to change this for every uh, I'm going to return an array so it's going to contain a web application and event before request so I'm going to grab hold of that and I'm going to do something. Request. I'm going to run check if logged in. That is the function that I'm going to run. Check if logged in. Okay, so now we have to create that function. Public function check if logged in. In this case, what I'm going to do is just echo your uh, logged in. And I'm going to do a die statement. So actually this is not what you should do. You should check the app request. Uh, you have to check if the is the guest user or not. If okay, uh, let's do that. So if the e app user is guest, I think that's how you do it. If that is so, then I'm going to echo out 
you are a guest you are a guest oops guest if not we are going to echo you are logged in so paste that there okay let's check if this works so i'm going to do a die statement and a die statement afterwards just okay we have an error okay let's find out why let us go to our component and check if something is wrong public function events looks good return the web application event before request looks good and check public function check if logged in okay it seems to be okay there let's check our main.php configuration file as before request okay that's what we want to do class backend components check if logged in oh we have forgotten to put ma there now let's check again it says the behavior is not found okay the behavior class is not in web it's in base okay now let's check okay it says you are logged in okay that's what we want so we are checking the app is guest and if that is true you are going to say you are a guest if that is not true and you are logged in you are logged in and we are going to do a die statement so on the only thing that is left for you to do if he is a guest and you want to send him back to the login url just pass redirect him back to the login url if that is not the case you just do nothing that's it actually you just have to remove this part okay so that covers this lesson um i hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, a little bit more information than i wanted to give but that is how it is uh, anyways this lesson will also be helpful for you when we are doing the internationalization lesson okay so there are two lessons i have done i have done the cookies and the uh, and this behavior lesson so the next lesson is going to be on internationalization it's going to be a compact video and we'll cover that on the next one okay guys thank you for watching this one and do subscribe share my tutorials like them if you like them and have fun and take care guys bye